Are you coming to say hi to the vlog? Oh, are we gonna do down or dog? Oh, now we're gonna itch our ears. I believe in you. Make the jump. <gasps> Come on. There we go. My goodness gracious, you're so high maintenance. Ciao, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I've been fighting being sick for a few days now and it's been really frustrating because energy wise I feel fine and just in general I feel fine but <coughs> I am quite congested today is Monday May 13th and I wanted to film an entire video this past week and also vlog and just start being super consistent but that absolutely did not happen when I woke up feeling like this yeah, I started to feel it Tuesday morning Wednesday I really started to feel it end of the day i'm going through look at look at this look at you guys you guys honestly i i could cry i could cry your support all these ideas i'm making a cute little color-coded little excel sheet right now of everyone who's entered i'm doing it in order so that way when i do a random number generator thing I'll show you guys later in the vlog of how I pick you guys, but pick the winners um, so I can know what you guys are requesting. But anyways, you are so awesome. Super sick. Uh, it just kind of happened. I woke up Sunday morning with a sore throat. Monday, the throat got worse. Tuesday, the congestion just started piling up. And then today, aching, blowing my nose like every three minutes. We're having fun. We're having so much fun. I guess I shouldn't complain because I don't take medicine. I know. If I would just take Dayquil, maybe I would feel so much better. I don't know. I just don't like taking medicine. My mom's outside right now. She's planting flowers. Um, and do you want to see what else my mom did? Oh my gosh, guys. Look at this. Look at this. So my mom, she's incredible for so many reasons, right? But she picks berries. She has this obsession. This is one. We already got rid of one. Well, like two quarts. This is what's left over. Look at, oh no, that means I have to eat it. Mmm. <laughs> she picked so many berries. This is incredible. Hold on. <coughs> I hate this. Like, who gets a cold? In the middle of spring here i am reading all of your guys's like we want you to make this video and this video and i'm like i don't know when i'm gonna make all these videos because right now i just don't feel good <laughs> but anyways can we just talk about how amazing this is so i'm gonna make a strawberry olive oil cake with whipped cream this weekend it's a freaking ruby gem delicacy google picking berries it might be like a 20 minute drive 30 minute drive but i'm sure there are farms around you where you can go pick your berries it's so good. Ciao. Today's Thursday. I was supposed to film a video today because I told myself I was going to start being gosh darn consistent and I was going to upload every Monday this month. And I did the first two Mondays, but I think I'm going to fail. <laughs> I think I'm going to fail on the third upload of this month. And that's just how the cookie's going to crumble. I have so many other things to work on. I think I'm going to work on my MML newsletter. Because I can't do it all. Running your own business and having like all these other jobs and all the things is hard. But anyways, get cozy with a blanket and my computer. Because that's the vibe for today. <coughs> Protect yourself. Take care of yourself. Don't push yourself too hard. God said I needed to be sick today. And he did that because maybe I've been doing a little bit too much. <laughs> ah! So I'm gonna take maybe this blessing of being sick, right? Mindset, creating zest. We gotta, we gotta create it. We gotta create our mindset and focus on getting more organized. But anyways, I look so pale. <coughs> I can't put makeup on today because I'm blowing my nose every 20 seconds. Well, I woke up like every hour to blow my nose, <laughs> which sucked. And so my crown was just covered in disgusting tissues. You guys don't want to know this, but like real life on Caroline's channel, you know? I always show you guys real life. Um, so I'm grateful the sun came out. We're just going to create a zestful day, even though we're sick, and make the most of it. Um, I really need to go blow my nose. And yeah. 
Friday, even though I definitely, I know I was sick technically, um, I really don't think I was carrying anything. And like I said, I felt pretty fine. So I helped out with my brother's birthday dinner. So both my brothers have birthdays in May. My middle brother, so my older brother, but the middle one, um, we went out to dinner to celebrate him because it was a really special birthday for him. It was his 30th birthday. And so that was so much fun getting to dress up and go sit on a patio and enjoy a beautiful dinner and wish him happy birthday. And then my other brother, my oldest brother, he had a birthday as well. So we hosted um, dinner at our place and my mom made most of the food and I got to help out a little bit with making um, the strawberry salsa. My mom had picked, as I had mentioned, freshly picked berries and I love a fruity salsa. I love a pineapple salsa, mango salsa. I love salsas and I made a very, I mean, gringo, <laughs> uh, strawberry mango salsa and it was devoured. Everyone said it was probably their favorite thing, including the chicken, of course, on the fajita buffet that we always do. So my mom was an incredible, incredible cook um, growing up. She is, I'm sorry, my mom is an incredible cook. And she um, had these like five or six like staple dinners that we would have in rotation constantly. One of them being obviously pasta carbonara. Another one was um, pizza bianca. We would do homemade pizza bianca and have like a bunch of different little fillings that we could do for a pizza bianca. And another family dinner meal that my mom killed it in was like fajitas slash tacos. So she would always marinate her chicken or steak in Worcestershire and lime, like that's her secret. And then make like three or four salsas. So pico de gallo, guacamole, like a fun salsa like i said which was the strawberry mango one that i made and then fajita peppers so just saute peppers and onions with some spices cheese um and you just can build your own taco and choose different salsas or put them all on at once and make a massive taco you saw when i was eating my taco it literally was like falling apart because <laughs> i chose to put everything on one taco but anyways we made fajitas friday night for my brother's birthday so love some good celebration saturday i just I took the day off. I ran a bunch of errands. I did nothing that would surprise you guys. Anything I I did Saturday, honestly, I've vlogged before. So I just took Saturday to myself and then Sunday was Mother's Day. To all you incredible mothers, if you didn't see my Instagram post or my newsletter, any of that, you are so strong and selfless and the world is is made better by you. You guys bring an incredible, incredible amount of zest to so many lives, not just your children's lives, but so many lives that you touch. So yesterday was Mother's Day and I spent the day actually with other mothers, not my own, but I was with some other mothers celebrating them and I went to a farm where there was kittens and I played with kittens and oh my God, I wish I had became a mother yesterday for those kittens. I wanted all five of the kittens. There was four um light 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 orange ones and then one beautiful gray one they all had like blue eyes the gray one had like deep ocean blue eyes i i can't stop thinking about them talk about an amazing mother's day for me playing with little kittens but after the farm came home exhausted but i really wanted to make a delicious dinner i am obsessed now with grilling and having dinner outdoors like i know it's not possible for everybody but for me like finally having this home having a back patio having a grill i've always dreamed of being able to just be outside for hours and eat and relax maybe like play cards outside i just feel like it goes slower there's no tv out there you know you can hear the birds you're just there's so much more to be in the moment exhausting day but i still made a little dinner i wanted to make some bruschetta because i had picked up a sourdough loaf and i made like a more like different style bruschetta with ricotta that I flavored with lemon, basil, and oregano. And then I did some fresh prosciutto on top and then some grilled peppers, my like classic orange vinaigrette salad with arugula and spinach. And so it was kind of a light dinner. It was more of like an antipasto dinner of just random things because my focus was 
a strawberry olive oil cake and the lighting was so bad last night and I'm like still kind of upset about not getting the perfect capturing of how epic this strawberry olive oil cake was so i used a little bit of lemon zest in the batter and like i love to rub the sugar with the lemon zest it releases the oils in the lemon zest and so it really helps flavor it but i think i should have put two lemon zested in this cake because it wasn't as strong as flavor of lemon as i'd like and then i should have like tripled the strawberry amount because maybe not because then it would have been like you know falling apart because there's so much strawberries but there wasn't enough like strawberry oomph i should have topped the entire cake with so many more strawberries i should have known they would have sank like that so aesthetics i wish i tried a little bit better with the aesthetics i think i rushed obviously i know i rushed to make that cake yesterday i just wanted to make it so bad it was just something i was craving making with the fresh strawberries talk about the most light perfect cake for the summer especially the beginning of summer when strawberries are in season it's so beautiful for a dinner because it's like you could pair it with ice cream and whipped cream leftovers are great for breakfast or brunch and it's like if you want to bring it to a cookout it's such a neutral it's not so sweet that you feel uh, after but it's so like fresh and the texture is wonderful because you think like the outside's burning but it actually gets this like crispy crusty exterior but the inside is so moist and delicate and the flavors are incredible and this is just if you need a go-to olive oil cake if you pick any berries this summer any stone fruit it was just fabulous and i want to have more today and i'm so excited to have more i had some a little like sliver after my workout today with my coffee and it was fabulous so i'm going to have to remake it when i get home from my trip next week <laughs> um if my mom picks more strawberries which i know she will so that was yesterday and then today has just been a good working day the sun is shining i'm still feeling fine but i sound horrible the next video she's gonna be jammed packed she's gonna have a lot of motion in her i'm going to arizona um today's monday i leave thursday I lived in Arizona in 2020 and 2021, um, and I'm not gonna talk about it right now. My whole next vlog will be completely just dedicated to this trip, and don't worry, there will be recipes. I wanna talk about snacks in my next video and like travel snacks and snacks on the go. So healthy, high protein, fresh Mediterranean snacks will be featured in my next video. But traveling to Arizona, and let's just say 2024 has been a gift from god and i'm not exaggerating because i have been just leveling up every single month so far every single month my life has gotten better and i almost am so like anxious because i feel a little bit undeserving that like life is going so well because for years i feel like i've been just getting glimpse and moments of really good life but in general life has been hard and sad and frustrating and painful and right now it's none of those things and I'm really scared that it's just like all gonna come crashing down but that's just my stupid silly anxiety that I need to just like shut up but anyways long story short going to Arizona to get all my stuff from when I lived there uh, that's been in storage since 2021 and it's 2024 also before we end this video let's fast forward to tonight real quick when I pick the winners Cha cha, really quick check in. My dog's walking around, so sorry if you hear that in the background noise. Coming to you from the future, it is Thursday. Thursday, it is Tuesday, May 14th. It's the day after I filmed what you're currently watching. We're gonna do the giveaway winners, and I'm very anxious to do this because I truly want you all to win. I am so upset that only six of you can win. I thought six was better than just one in the first place, so I think I got a lot of entries just because everyone knew they had like a higher chance with six bags being given away i think with so much of you guys giving entries into the giveaway this is showing me that i think i'm going to do another merch i'll include like some t-shirts maybe and some other stuff but tote bags and merch maybe mid-summer or end of summer we can do another giveaway because this is incredible and i'm so sad that all of you can't win so this is how we're gonna do it. I just want to prove to you guys that we're playing fair. So I have 47 entries. As you can see, I did one by one from one to last one was last night at 47. 
There's my puppy, she's walking around. We are gonna do a random number generator. So, sorry my screen is cracked. So let's just ignore the cracked screen. Yes, I know I need to charge my phone. It's not something we're gonna talk about right now. Are you guys ready for this? The first winner is two. Number two is 20. All right, number three is 38. Next one is 30. Two more. We got 27. And sixth winner, here we go. 37. Those are the six winners. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. It breaks my heart that I couldn't give you all something, but knowing that there was this much interest in a giveaway in my tote bags, I will do another giveaway this summer. I promise. I really want to do this again. I know the words thank you only go so far, so hopefully this was another great way to say thank you. All right. And now I can properly say thank you so, so, so much for watching this video. I really, really, really hope you enjoyed. I really hope you got something out of it. Some kind of value, smile, laughter, anything, just anything at all. Hopefully you enjoyed. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. I can't express it enough. Every single video you have to know that your support is what keeps me going. I'm so grateful for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And until next time, I hope you create a very, very successful day. Ciao.